Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now there's really nothing more comforting than a hot bowl of French onion soup. But when you try to make this at home, do you end up with something like this? A watery, bland broth with onions that aren't really rich and caramelized? Well today I'm gonna to share with you some tricks and tips in making the best French onion soup. And I'm sure you're gonna be making this every weekend this winter. So to get started here, it's all about the onions. Now, for a really good French onion soup, you need a large quantity of onions. So I'm using two pounds of onions, and these are just regular store-bought yellow onions. Now, you could certainly use some other types of onions. Um, I would just say that the Vidalia onions or the sweeter onions, you just wanna be careful because you don't want your uh, French onion soup to be too sweet. Now, all you need to do is slice the onions up into quarter inch slices. So what I like to do is just have the onion. You can peel it like this. And then you're just going to slice them into quarter inch slices. Now you could do this either way. I'm doing it in these half moon slices, but you could also cut the onion the other way. It really doesn't matter because these are going to cook down and caramelize um, for about an hour to an hour and a half until they're really nice and soft. You do want to make sure that you slice them into even slices so that they cook evenly. So I have a large Dutch oven here that I have preheating over a low heat. I would say a medium to low heat is really best. And the reason I'm using this cast iron pot here is because cast iron retains heat really well and this will help your onions caramelize nice and evenly. So to the pot I'm gonna add about maybe one or two tablespoons of olive oil here. And I have about four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And the butter is going to add a really rich, nice flavor. And the oil is going to help bring the temperature of both of those fats up a little bit so that the butter doesn't burn and blacken and get bitter. Um, so that's why we're using a combination of the two different fats. So once my butter is nice and melted, I'm going to add my onions. And you really wanna add your onions in a nice even layer. And they're going to slowly cook and caramelize for about an hour. You're looking to remove all of that extra water and that's probably one of the main problems people have is that they don't cook their onions long enough and that's why they end up with a really watery and bland French onion soup. So almost all of the butter has melted here and I'm going to add in my onions. It's quite a bit of onions and you'll see guys these onions are going to cook down and all of that moisture is going to evaporate. To this I'm going to add a little bit of sugar here and I think that adding a tiny bit of sugar really helps in encouraging the caramelization, getting that really great color that you're looking for, but really it's time and temperature. So just stir this together and over this low to medium heat, you wanna cook this for about an hour to an hour and a half, stirring occasionally until they're nice and dark brown and really, really soft. So two pounds of onions, if you can believe it or not, have cooked down to almost nothing. But you can really see, you guys, look at how beautiful these onions look. They're so nice and dark. The flavors are really concentrated. Uh, and this is really what you're looking for. Again, this is going to help in giving you a really flavorful um, French onion soup. So. To this, I'm now gonna add three and a half cups of beef stock. Now, another secret to making a really delicious and flavorful French onion soup is to use homemade beef stock. And you can see it is really nice and gelatinous. This is cold. I'm gonna add it to the pot. It's gonna heat up and this, um, it's gonna thin out a little bit, but it's gonna really provide a really great body to your soup. If you do not have homemade beef stock in your freezer, or you don't feel like making it, you could go to your local butcher shop and see if they have any available. In addition to the beef stock here, I'm gonna add a half cup of dry sherry. Now, sherry is a secret ingredient that really adds a depth of flavor to your French onion soup. Sherry is a fortified wine, and it adds a really great flavor here. And then, for a little bit of extra richness and body, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is going to help thicken up the broth so that it has a weight to it. 
And now the last ingredient at this stage is gonna be two teaspoons of fresh thyme leaves. Now thyme is a really great herb. It's actually one of my favorite herbs to use in cooking. It adds a nice herbaceous note and it's slightly earthy, so it really complements this hearty soup. So just stir this together and now um, you're gonna bring this up to a simmer and let it cook partially covered for about 30 minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna prepare the topping for my French onion soup. Now, classically, French onion soup is garnished on top with a little bit of bread. And I'm using baguette here today since we're making a French onion soup. And I'm going to cut these into like half inch thick pieces. And each soup is going to get one or two of these little croutons. So this recipe here makes enough for four crocks of French onion soup, so I really only need eight slices of this baguette right onto a unlined baking sheet here, and this is gonna go underneath the broiler. And you're gonna broil these for one to two minutes per side, and this will give a nice topping to our French onion soup. So it's been about a half an hour, and the soup has thickened up slightly, and now's the time to season the soup. So I have a little bit of coarse salt here. I'm gonna season that up. A little bit of freshly ground pepper here. I like to use black pepper. Stir this together, and of course, as always, guys, whenever you're cooking, and this is something that I recommend, is that you taste as you go. If it needs a little bit more seasoning, add a little bit more salt, maybe a little bit more pepper to your taste. It needs a little bit more salt here and pepper. We're gonna ladle the soup right into ramekins or traditional French onion soup crocks. And then this is going right into the oven with our crouton and a little bit of cheese. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm making French onion soup is to use a mixture of cheeses. And the reason why is that you get some really nice flavor and a little bit of different textures. I'm using Gruyere, a little bit of Fontina, which is an Italian cheese. You could use Emmenthal, Appenzeller, are really great Swiss cheeses that are nice and stringy. So if you're only going to pick one cheese, I would recommend going with the Gruyere because it has a really great flavor and it also melts really nicely. So I'm putting these on a rimmed baking sheet because these are gonna go underneath the broiler. So don't turn that broiler off after you toast your croutons for on top. You guys, if you're looking at the soup and you say, oh, it looks a little light, it looks, um, it doesn't really look that thick. Well, during the process of broiling, um, the bread is gonna soak up a lot of the broth and also thicken the soup slightly, so it will get a little thicker. So two of these nice croutons go on top of each of your um, crocs or ramekins here. And I think this is really, one of the best parts of a French onion soup is this nice topping. And again, a nice amount of grated cheese on top and also a cheese that really melts nicely because you want that stringiness uh, when you break into your French onion soup. So this is gonna go underneath the broiler until the cheese is nice and melted and slightly brown and bubbly. And that will take anywhere from like two to four minutes. So under the broiler, here we go. All right guys, look at these beauties. They look amazing and they smell so delicious. Now you wanna make sure that at this point you get them right to the table and you enjoy them nice and hot. Put them on a little plate so that people don't burn themselves. So there you go, guys, French onion soup. As always, reach out to us using the hashtag Kitchen Conundrums. We'd love to see what you're making, and we'd love to answer your questions, you guys. Enjoy.